In this question, we have a bunch of voters and we have some information on a sample right here. So there was a telephone poll of 350 randomly selected registered voters. 177 said they'd vote for Brown, 140 for Feliz, and 33 undecided. I know there's, I think, a question that doesn't actually tell you the total, but if I add those three numbers together, I will get 350. Now on this, sample statistic for the proportion of voters surveyed who said they'd vote for Brown. So we had 177 for Brown. So for Brown, 177. Now in here, we're just going Brown or uh, that's the success is defined as voting for Brown. Uh, any other vote would be a failure in, in this here. So our total 350. So I want to know the sample statistic for the proportion of voters surveyed, surveyed who said they vote for Brown. So we're just going to divide these two numbers. So this will be P. So just a simple division here. So about 50% said they'd vote for Brown and around to four decimal places. All right, and submit. Okay. Now, how can we use this to estimate how many of these actual voters are gonna vote for Brown? Well, this proportion of them, we're going to assume are gonna be the proportion of 7,100. So we're just gonna multiply 7,100 by that number we just got. And I'll just let Excel do this. Uh, Total 7100. So voters for Brown is going to equal the total voters multiplied by that proportion right there. So it's going to be about half. Uh, you can't have a 0.571 of a voter. They either vote for Brown or they don't. And so here, uh, it doesn't say it, but we do need to round it to a whole number because it's a vote. So 3590, we're gonna round this up, 3591. I wonder, so that was the correct answer. If we rounded poorly, all right, it still would give us credit, all right.